gosh. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It truly has been a while and when I say that, I mean that I don't even know the last time that I filmed a YouTube video. Actually, it would have been for my event, which was in June. So yeah, we're here, we're back again and I'm going to film a week in my life in lockdown because in case you didn't know, Melbourne is in lockdown again and I believe we have spent altogether over 200 days in lockdown at this point. So yes, it's a bit tedious. I really can't complain. I know how lucky I am. And you know, with everything that's going on in the world, I do not take anything for granted, but you know, at the same time, lockdown is tough. It's very isolating. I'm not going to lie. It does feel very lonely at times, but that's why I decided to pick up the camera this week and just document a week in my life. It's going to keep me accountable, help me stay motivated and give me someone to talk to. Like that sounds really sad, but it's true. You know, face to face contact obviously with lockdown isn't possible unless, you know, you have your social bubble buddy, which I have one, but you know, it's not like normal life where you can just go outside and catch up with some friends and have people over, you know, go into the co-working space, which is where I usually work. I'm here all day. I go out for my exercise. I talk to my family and friends on the phone and I catch up with a friend, you know, once a week, maybe twice a week and that's it. So this is going to really help me kind of lift my mood up a little bit too. So I hope you're taking care during lockdown. But anyway, let's get this video started. I'm just going to try and keep it as real as possible and show you guys what a week in my life is like at the moment. And as we go, I'll update you as well on everything that's changed because so much has changed since I last spoke to you guys. I might be in lockdown, but I'm not wearing active wear every day. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, by the way. It's just for me, I feel my best when I feel dressed up. That makes me motivated. Like this kind of makes me want to get some work done. Whereas if I'm in active wear and my tracksuit all week, like, you know, a few days here and there, it's not too bad. But if I just wear active wear all week, I will not get as much done. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. I've got this Ralph Lauren cashmere sweater on. I've got my frame denim jeans on and my Gucci slippers. I just got back from Green Street Juice Co in Paran and I picked up three New Yorker smoothies, which are delicious. And also a pure celery juice because I actually haven't shared this before, but I do get eczema or I'm prone to getting eczema. And at the moment, you can't really tell because my hair covers it, but I've got a bit of eczema on my neck. So I want to try celery juice. I've heard it's really good for that kind of, you know, skin conditions and, you know, for gut health and for all different things really. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try. I'm just trying one this week. And then if I can bear the taste of it, then I might incorporate it into my daily routine and have one every morning. So I'm looking forward to trying this probably tomorrow morning. It's funny because Green Street Juice Co, like when you step in there, it smells beautiful. Like, you know, they really sage the room. And so this bag smells like sage and the beautiful incense that they have there. So good. So there you go. Those are my juices for the week. I'm all sorted and I have these at lunchtime. So I have one of these for lunch and then on a Wednesday and Friday, I go out and get a smoothie. So yeah, that's my little haul that I wanted to show you guys. I just got my Uber Eats delivery from Fishbowl. If you haven't tried Fishbowl yet, you have to. I go to the one on Flinders Lane or I get it delivered from there. And I ordered the miso eggplant, which is one of my favorites with brown rice. 
and yeah it looks so good so bon appetit i feel like all i do in these videos is show you guys what i'm eating so i hope that's okay i was meant to cook tonight but i couldn't be bothered i'm blaming it on lockdown but once you know a week i feel like uber eats is okay and it's once a week it's monday happy monday i feel like i need this <laughs> just taken my makeup off and now I'm in my pajamas which is why I thought I would quickly mention two products that I've been loving for my skin at the moment so the first is called lotion p50w by a brand called biologique research and this is an exfoliating and purifying lotion for the face it's almost like a toner so you cleanse your face and then you kind of put a few drops of this onto a cotton pad because it's like a liquid. I'll kind of show you without wasting it. And you put it on the cotton cotton ball or cotton pad and you just dab it on the areas that you'd like to focus on and exfoliate. And basically I do find that this really helps refine the texture of my skin. It's really good for smoothing and exfoliating, but it's gentle. You know, it's not the kind of product that leaves my skin flaky and dry the next morning. It's a really good one, but you do have to build yourself up to this kind of product. And I guess if in doubt, definitely ask, you know, whoever you're consulting, like a skin therapist and see what they recommend. I get this through Melanie Grant's skincare edit shop. So yeah, that's where I buy it from. You could always ask them because I believe they have a whole range of these kinds of products that vary in strength so it's definitely worth asking and then the other day i actually ran out of my cleansers and i did a click and collect and i picked up my cleansers from you know a store within my five kilometer radius and they gave me a sample which i was so grateful for but isn't it funny that like skincare always seems to run out at the same time anyone else so I received this sample, it's Skin SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier, and it's a serum, it looks like this, and you put about four drops on your face, so I put like one here, one here, one here, one here, and it's very hydrating. I believe it's hyalur hyaluronic acid, I'm pretty sure it's that, but I think I threw away the packaging, and being that it's like just a sample, it doesn't say too much on the back but it does say multifunctional serum so there you go that's a good one too so yeah those are products that I've been loving for my skin at the moment I've put them both on tonight and I feel like that exfoliating lotion is going to be really good because I've used this one for years now and I just topped up today I received it in the mail and I feel like my skin needs a real good exfoliation i do tend to get dry skin in winter and i just find especially this year my skin is so dry so this will be helping me out and so will this one so yeah those are my skincare favorites for tonight one of my goals in lockdown is to get off my phone when i can and that means tonight reading this book and finishing it off i'm nearly done actually but I'm really enjoying it so far. I think it's a great read. It's called Cult Status by Tim Duggan. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I went for a run this morning, which made me feel so much better because to be honest, in lockdown, whenever I wake up, I'm feeling pretty flat in the mornings and going for a run does really help. It gives me that energy boost and I run by the beach, which I feel like is so good for the soul vitamin C, right? Like it's just so healing. So that was a good start to the morning. And now I'm about to go and grab a coffee and then I'll get stuck into some work. I actually haven't mentioned it here yet, but I did launch my business Honey Buzz PR, which I would have been hinting about in I guess like the last few videos that I filmed for this channel. So that's all really exciting. I'm having a great time and I love who I'm working with at the moment and I feel like I've just finally found my passion and my calling something that I enjoy doing every day and that really just makes me feel alive and even though you know it's been a really busy time for me I love it and that's how you know that you know you love what you do is 
even though it's challenging, even though like, you know, it takes a lot out of you, you love what you do. Like it just energizes you and you get through it because yeah, you just, you know, you know, it's for you. So yeah, I'm having a great time with all of that. And I did want to include that in this video because it's a big life update. You know, I did start a new business. So yeah, make sure you follow us over on Instagram at honeybuzzpr, or you can head to the website honeybuzzpr.com to find out more. And in case you're wondering where this top is from, I got it years ago from Ralph Lauren. It was one of my first designer purchases and I love it. It has these kind of suede elbow pads and it's just really cool. It's come back in fashion too. I feel like, you know, that's, that's why it's so important to invest in key pieces because, you know, they do stand the test of time. So anyway, with that being said, it's time for me to grab a coffee because I need a bit more energy. I need a bit of a caffeine hit. <music> where I'll be for the rest of the afternoon just working this is my little work kind of corner in the kitchen because I've decided not to work from my room during this lockdown to create more of a work-life balance so I've got my laptop here and yeah this is where you'll find me for the next for the next chunk of time before I check back in with you guys cashew noodles by Marley Spoon and the last step is to add some cashews to each bowl so each meal serves two I tried to make them look nice and presentable but it's a lot more difficult than I thought and then we've got a bit of an omelette here so I'm just going to divide this among the two bowls And there you have it. That is my dinner for tonight. It smells delicious. I'm so hungry and I'm definitely going to enjoy this one. I know it. <laughs> That was a really tough run today. I did not want to go, but I kind of just made myself do it and I feel so much better for it now. Now I'm going to hydrate with this celery juice. I've actually never tried celery juice before, so I'm a bit nervous about the taste, but let's give it a go. I mean, it's not the best taste, but I'm just going to drink it really fast <laughs> and just think about the benefits. I mean, look at that, 5.6 servings of vegetables in this, just in this. That's actually amazing. All right, I've got to do this. It's good for detox, gut health and hydration. Let's go, cheers. Halfway there. <laughs> It's actually not too bad, it just tastes like celery. I mean, I don't know what else I was expecting, but it's not, yeah, it's not sweetened with anything. It's just pure, straight celery juice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I'll drink it again for sure. I think I'll definitely get another celery juice in the future but it's not my beverage of choice let's just say that 
So next up, I'm having this Body Bloom by Sarah's Day and Tropica. I've put two heaped teaspoons in here. Next, I'm going in with the Allergenics powder from Metagenics. This requires a prescription and I get it through Rachel from the Health Press who specializes in traditional Chinese medicine. So this one I believe is, I've just started this one, two level teaspoons. Okay. And these taste better than the celery juice. Let's just say that. And then I'm going to mix this in with some water. And then basically I'm taking a few other supplements. This one is actually, I'm just finishing this off. And then I've also got my iron tablets and this, which is also going to help with my eczema. So this powder and this is good for my eczema because as I mentioned at the start of this video, I am flaring up at the moment with eczema. So this is called Ultra Flora Immune Control and yet yeah, it's meant to help with, you know, allergies and things like eczema. But like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just only kind of, you know, mentioning what I think they're for. So yeah, I'm going to mix this in with some water now. So now that I've had some of my supplements and I'm just having this, I will make my breakfast and usually when I go for a run, I have eggs on toast with avocado. So I'll start making that now and I'll check back in with you guys later. Cheers. I'm all dressed and ready for the day ahead. I'm wearing this Diane von Furtensberg cashmere sweater, which I love. It's very warm. And then I've got my Forever New pants on and the same Gucci slippers that I've been wearing all week. I'm dressing for comfort, but still trying to dress up a little bit so that I just feel more motivated to get some work done and just to stay on track. So yeah, that's my look of the day. It's now time to go and get caffeinated. I also tinted my brows this morning and I thought I would tell you guys what I've been using. It's more of a temporary kind of solution. It's not as strong as your usual tint that I would go and get done at a salon, but this is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel Tint. And basically you paint your brows with this stuff and it's almost like a jelly consistency. You let it dry for around 20 minutes and then you peel it off and your brows are darkened. So yeah, I'm loving that. I feel like it just makes such a big difference. I love when my brows are tinted because then I don't have to fill them in and I can just put like a gel over them to hold them in place for the day and they're all set. So yeah, I'm going for more of a natural brow look these days and I'm really loving it. So yeah, get onto this. If you're in lockdown or if you just don't want to go to a salon to get your brows tinted, this is a good solution. But like I said, I did this on Saturday night and then I've had to do it again today, Wednesday. So, you know, it's not something that's going to last you two to three weeks. It's more of a maybe twice a week. You might want to kind of update it depending on how dark you want your brows. But for me, yeah, it might have to be a more regular thing to do. I'm actually having my single social bubble buddy over tonight so I'm getting everything all ready. I've got a loaf of multi-grain bread in here fresh from the market. I've got the cutlery and plates ready for our main meal as well as dessert and then two champagne glasses because why not? I feel like we need something to lift our mood and just to celebrate the good things in life at the moment. In lockdown, I've also been loving this VM Organics Honey and Lemon Myrtle Diffuser Oil, which I put in the diffuser and I find that it helps me stay focused when I'm working from home and just leaves my apartment smelling really fresh. So yeah, I've got that going as well. And as you can see the direction, it just kind of like moves into the kitchen. So I'll leave this on just because, you know, I don't have a balcony in here. I have windows, but sometimes you need that extra refreshment. And I find this really helps. 
Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm heading out for a walk this morning with my friend Marie. We're meeting at Lenny in Albert Park for a coffee, and then we'll probably go for a beach walk all within my five kilometer radius and Marie's five kilometer radius as well. But I've dressed a bit more casually for the occasion and I think it's going to be really cold outside, so I will bring a jacket as well. I'm just looking forward to catching up with a friend, and I think in lockdown it's just so good for your soul. I also went for a run this morning, so I feel like I have done a lot of exercise this week, but at the same time, like, you know, being at home most of the day, it is so important to move your body, and even this walk will do me good, and then tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday are my rest days. No runs and no kind of exercise other than going for, you know, just a, a stroll around the city. So that's my plan, but I will check back in with you very soon. And how pretty are these flowers? My friend Chanel bought them for me. So shout out to Chanel. I love them. They've just really brightened up my apartment and lockdown in general. <music> I'm in my pajamas, I'm fresh faced and I'm getting ready to go and make a hot chocolate and then I'm going to watch The Night Manager. I'm up to the final episode. It's a show on Amazon Prime and it's so good. My mum has literally been telling me to watch this show for years and I've always been like, oh, I'm not too sure. It doesn't sound that good. But then when I saw the preview for it, I was like, oh my gosh, now I know why my mum kept saying that. So. Yeah, there you go. It is a really good show. Let me know if you've seen it. I've also been loving Nine Perfect Strangers, also on Amazon Prime. And then on Binge, I really loved watching Succession. If you haven't watched that yet, you have to. I believe the new season is coming out soon too. I also really enjoyed The White Lotus. That was so good. And it's just, yeah, it's one of those shows that the characters are so interesting and there's so much to analyze in each of the characters. Like they're so complex and it kind of shines a mirror on society. So anyway, that's a really good one too. I would love to know what you guys have been watching at the moment. You guys know I love my, my TV shows. So leave a comment down below. And I think I'm going to leave this video here. Now, I won't be filming another weekly vlog for a little while, but what I will film instead, I'm thinking, is a lockdown haul. So I was thinking of showing you guys everything that I've bought in lockdown and doing a bit of a review and rating each item. And then in the future, I'm hoping to film an office tour and show you guys my co-working space as well as so many other things, you know, experiences in the city and traveling around Victoria and hopefully eventually outside of Victoria, around Australia, and maybe one day around the world, who knows? But honestly, I cannot wait to get back into filming. So leave your suggestions below. I really do appreciate any ideas, requests, or suggestions. So thank you in advance. And thank you so much just for being here this week. Filming this video has honestly lifted my spirits. It's really helped me stay positive and has given me something to focus on outside of work. It's been my hobby for the week and, you know, it's just made me feel that extra bit motivated to, yeah, just push through because I know that lockdown can make you feel really flat. So this has definitely helped. So thank you guys for being there this week. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel because it really supports me here on YouTube and I'm here, I'm back in the YouTube game. So I would love your help by just, yeah, leaving a comment below, liking the video, sharing it with a friend or subscribing to the channel or doing all of the above. <laughs> thank you again, guys. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.